question number 39 of the ID Passport exam from Finlitz. In this question, we are being asked, which of the following is the list that contains all appropriate features of chain mail? First, let's highlight a few things, chain mail and list. This list pertains to the set of statements that we have here, A, B, C, and D. For chain mail, um, I think if we think about what a chain mail is, we can imagine a set of emails that are connected to each other in a sort of like um, a linked uh, email, set of emails. So if we have those as part of the description and we need to find out the features of a chain mail from among the choices in the list, what would be um, those items in the list? Actually, also, if you look at the choices here at the bottom, we need to um, choose a combination of two letters. So, for um, the first uh, statement, statement A, it is used for the purposes of communication and information sharing within a group. I think in this case, although this seems to be okay, we're going more towards um, a a set of emails that is sent to annoy people, I guess, or to um, um, to solicit some kind of uh, information. And in that sense, um, a chain mail isn't um, supposed to be for communication and information sharing. It's more of like to annoy people, to um, to solicit something that uh, they're they're not really interested so letter a uh, we put a uh, an x mark here for letter b it places a wasteful load on network servers i think if we're thinking about chain mail as something negative this seems to be okay for letter c the same email is repeatedly replied to this seems to be also okay but we still need to look at letter d just in case the text of the email encourages forwarding of the email to many people. So this idea about blasting the email so that more people would receive it, more people would keep on sending it. And so you have a series of uh, emails being sent. Um, it could be the same email, but several people are receiving them and are resending them, which is to forward the emails. So in that sense, if we know for a fact that letter B is already one of the um, statements that is part of the answer, then this one, letter B and letter A, from among the choices, they're not uh, correct. They're not um, among the, the things that we are going to choose um, as the correct answer. So we're down to letter C or letter D, and it's either the emails repeatedly replied to, or it's a way to um, to forward the email uh, to more people. So um, in this case, forwarding the email to many many people seems to be a lot more um, and a lot more damaging, a lot more destructive. And so um, it could be that uh, also the same email is replied to. Um, that idea can be also um, included in letter D. So in this case, uh, I think um, the correct answer would be B and D. And um, also, by the way, I know that there are certain email uh, services that differentiate reply and forward. Although I know there are people who at times also um, press the reply button, but use it as more of like a forwarding uh, functionality. They press the reply, but they change the um, some of the... Uh, keywords in the subject header instead of re to mean reply they make it forward or um, in addition 
um, they uh, they change the receivers, the recipients, and so on. And so in that way, it's also forwarding. So just in case um, you're one of those people who use a web service that distinguishes between reply and forward, then um, what I said a while ago about um, repeatedly replying to the email might be a bit ambiguous when I also said that the same technique seems to be also applicable um, so that you can send the email to more people. Uh, and, and because of that, um, if we're going for clarity and we want more people to receive the email much faster, seems like letter D is really the, the best uh, answer um, as compared to letter C. And so in that sense, uh, the correct answer for this number would really be B and D. I'd like to add too, though, that I think when I was answering this uh, yesterday, I was thinking of um, something more positive for chain mail. And so I didn't choose letter B at all as part of the answer. So I got the answer incorrect after I verified with the list of answers because my my idea was chain mail was something much more positive than um, a technique to waste the load of the servers, network servers. Okay, so you might be optimistic, you might have a positive view of things, but in this case, the chain mail, we're going for something that is negative. And so you might not get the answer correct too, but it's okay. We keep on moving, we keep on answering more questions, and I think um, after computation, we should be able to get sufficient points to pass the exam.